I've asked Neil to put a bit of banjo and um, guitar in the fallback. Yeah. 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 Dixie her now in G. Yeah, twice. Rats. You can do it in unison if you want. Just do it once. Oh no, do it twice. Twice? Yeah. Hey? Dixie her now twice. Yep. Code Jeffrey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you get a violation. <laughs> Kick her off. Okay. <laughs> back. <laughs> I might just quickly introduce the band before we get stuck into the, the repertoires again, the, the subjects. Um, on guitar, Mr. Nick Cawthorn. Thank you. On uh, the fiddle, Mr. Trevor Warner. And on five string and uh, violin, fiddle, Mr. Jeffrey Bridgeland. Stephen Loss on the double bass, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, what theme, what subject do you think would be the most, uh, the most applied to in any sort of music? What subject would inspire people the most? Romance. Love, exactly. And do you think um, sort of sad and sort of unrequited love would be better than, um, or, or more, more often than, than joyous love? Yes, that's right. Misery <laughs> wins over love every time. Certainly in music it does. <laughs> so we, 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 we've got a couple of uh, songs about love gone bad. And, uh, of course, in country music that's, that's very big. Uh, the first one is called East Virginia Blues and Nick's going to sing it. Spider 
Bethlehem maiden Her name I did not know I'd rather be in some dark hollow where the sun refused to shine than to see you with another you promised to be mine. And I was born in East Virginia, North Carolina, I did wrong. There's my This next song is, uh, is a real uh, misery guts song. It's called All the Good Times Are Past and Gone. Past and gone. <laughs> Someone's obviously <laughs> fallen out of love. <laughs> Someone's been jilted. <laughs> and they think life has ended. <laughs> Actually, a, a lot of love songs, um, it's interesting in bluegrass anyway, they talk about the women sort of roaming around, you know, and being unfaithful. I reckon it was the men that were being more adulterous than the women. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, this is all the good times are past and gone. A waltz, anybody? Yeah, it's a waltz. Yeah. <laughs> Hang down your head and cry. The 
best of friends some time must part darling why not you and i oh good times are past and gone all good times are wrong all good times are past and gone little darling don't, don't you weep no Of course, one of the uh, one of the, uh, the, the the creative bits of writing music is to get an emotional response in the listener. And what could be sadder than a prisoner sitting in a cell, thinking about his family back at home? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> well, actually, there, there might be. Yeah, but <laughs> but uh, um, you know uh, Paul Kelly's song "Make and Gravy." Yeah, that's exactly that theme. Anyway, we're going to do a couple of prison songs. And this one, uh, first one I'm going to sing, it's called Some Old Day. Thank you, Rob. We'll try that again. <laughs> oh, D, in the key of D. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well, I've been working out in the rain Tied to this dirty old ball and chain Oh dear mother, I'll come home Some old day Some sweet day you'll turn me loose From this dirty old calaboose Oh dear mother, I'll come home Some old day Sing it with me boys Some old day Mother, I'll come home some old day. Some sweet day you'll turn me loose from this dirty old calaboose. Oh dear mother, I'll come home some old day.
Oh, we can drop it out. We got another another prison song that Trev's going to sing. It's called "I've Lived a Lot in My Time." It's about an old prisoner sitting in the cell, thinking about all the things he's got up to. <laughs> so, yeah. I lived a lot in my time I fought the Grim Reaper down in the dark valley Prayed where the sun wouldn't shine I looked in the door of this cold, lonely prison I lived a lot in my time I've thought of something that's sadder than, than sitting in prison thinking about home, and that's a loved one dying. You know, a mother or a a, a wife or a, you know son. Or, or a mother and father. A mother and father. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, next song is called White Dove. Next, this, next. this was written by uh, Carter Stanley. Uh, for those of you who are not uh, not familiar with Carter Stanley, Carter Stanley was one half of the Stanley Brothers, and the Stanley Brothers were great practitioners of bluegrass music. We certainly cut our teeth on the likes of the Stanley Brothers. And uh, back in 1949, on the way to a recording, the band had just finished a gig and they had to drive across country to appear live on a radio station at 6.30 in the morning. Anyway, Carter Stanley wrote this tune on the way to the gig and by the time they got there, they had the arrangement all worked out. It's called White Dove and it is one of their most famous songs and we're going to try it for you right now.
Got the Savior needs those angels up in heaven. Now they sing around the great white throne. White dove will mourn in sorrow. The willows will hang their heads. I live my life in sorrow. Since mother and daddy are Darkness finds me as I kneel down to pray. White dove will mourn in sorrow. The willows will hang their heads. I live my life in sorrow since mother. I think after that uh, bit of depressing song, we've had a cheers up. We've got um, a couple of more fiddle tunes that we're going to whip out here for you. Oh, right. Ragtime Annie. Ragtime yeah. Annie. It's another dance tune. Yeah. Did you um, write this? Uh, <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> this is probably 200 years old, yeah. this song. <laughs> this Down on the uh, Piedmont on the eastern side of the United States, in North and South Carolina, that was cotton country. And uh, the Lintheads, they called them, Lintead musicians. <laughs> they uh, learned a lot of tunes from upstate, learned a lot of tunes from New York. And there was, in the latter part of the 19th century, a big Joplin ragtime craze. And those tunes percolated down into the southern states just as the Friedman-esque economic theory indicates that money trickles down to the poor. <laughs> and uh, and these, <laughs> these ragtime tunes that were played by the Lintheads, uh, they got into the mountains. And went. One of the favourite ones is uh, Ragtime Annie. <laughs>
is a ridiculous this title for this tune, isn't it? Now, this is the, yes, that's all right. This is the Snake's Wild Tune is our next offering, folks. We're sorry about this. <laughs> we don't know why, but it appeals to us. <laughs> uh, I found it on YouTube, and uh, I'm very thankful to Sonia, who played it on YouTube. She's a great fiddle player. We don't know where it came from, where Sonia got it from, what it means, <laughs> or why we're playing it. <laughs> Aren't we playing it? It's good. <laughs> there we go. The Snake's Wild Tune. Don't know where it came from, but it's a good one. <laughs> okay, another, another theme that occurs in bluegrass music and other music, um, country music, is coal mining. So um, these poor farmers, some of them were sitting on coal reserves and uh, they would supplement their in income by digging, the, digging up a bit of coal and selling it off and making a bit of money. And then, then the big players came to town, didn't they, Geoffrey? Sure did. <laughs> Mining started 200 years ago in the Appalachian Mountains and uh, the early mines were little low, tiny little tunnels and the mining companies moved in so that by 100 years ago very, very, very large mining companies were mining in the Appalachians, putting those railways through, coal trains two miles long hauled by mighty big boy locomotives and Companies like the Peabody Coal Company taking the tops off the mountains, mm. strip mining, and there are over 500 mountains have been strip mined, and all the spoil off the top of the mountains will be tipped into the valleys and run down the rivers and poison the country. <clears throat> the miners tried to unionise but were strenuously fought by the mine owners particularly in Harlan, eastern Kentucky, where the miners' strike of the early 1920s was put down by private militias shooting miners. And the same thing happened in 1973. And the miners today are unionised, but I don't think I've ever heard a happy mining song. <laughs> this certainly isn't one of them. <laughs> Pick it up, Drew. Come listen, you fellow, so young and so fine. I seek not your fortune in the dark, dreary mine. Cause it'll form as a habit and seep in your soul till the stream of your blood is black as the cold and it's dark as a dungeon, damp as a dew, where the dangers are double and the pleasures are few, where the rain never falls and the 
sun never shines Cause it's dark as a dungeon way down in the mine It's many a man that I've known in my day To live just to labor his life away He's like a fiend with his dope And a drunkard with his wine A man must have lost for the lure of the mind And it's dark as a dungeon Damp as a dew where the dangers are double and the pleasures are few Where the rain never falls And the sun never shines It's dark as a dungeon Way down in the shall roll and my body will blacken and turn into coal then I'll look from the door of my heavenly home and I'll pity the miner digging my bones and it's dark as a dungeon damp as a dew where the dangers are double and the pleasures are few sun never shines it's dark as a dungeon way down in the mine yes it's dark as a dungeon way down in the mine thank you all right we uh we're gonna end this set with a, a song uh, about joyous love. We thought we couldn't, couldn't go without doing one that's about joyous love. It's called uh, Little Georgia Rose. And Trev, you're gonna sing this one. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Story, story that I know is true about a rose in blooming Georgia with a hair of gold and a heart so true. Way down in the Blue Ridge Mountain, way down where the coal pipes grow, lives my sweet old home mountain. She's my little Georgia rose.